tonight, your investigator Sean Boyd is explaining why state regulators are worried about a disease they thought was eradicated. Three months after a pet rescue imported a puppy with rabies to Colorado, the state is now taking action. That incident resulted in 54 people being treated for rabies and 12 dogs being euthanized. Sean, you've covered cases like this for years, and we know this is not an isolated incident. Yeah, four years ago, there was an eerily similar case, but it wasn't widely publicized. I found out about it through an open records request. It also involved an imported puppy with rabies and two dozen people who were exposed, including a pregnant mom, her husband, and their 18-month-old daughter. We first met Drew and Christine Frank in 2021. In some ways, they were the canaries in the coal mine. This was an innocent little puppy that, like, we were just playing with, and you'd have no clue. Their friends had adopted a puppy from a rescue, so they took their dog and 18-month-old daughter for a visit. Days later, they learned the puppy was rabid. Christine was pregnant at the time. Nobody had experience with this before, uh, let alone someone who's pregnant. They immediately got vaccinated for rabies. I feel extremely lucky because it's 100% fatal. Everyone we talk to who's thinking about getting a dog, if there's a cautionary tale there, but it wasn't something that we were gonna scream from the rooftops because we thought it was a one in a million thing. Three years later, the state is dealing with another case of rabies from another puppy imported by the same rescue, moms and mutts. This time, 54 people were vaccinated and all 12 puppies in the litter were euthanized. Aaron Jones owns the rescue. They all had health certificates, were inspected by a veterinarian. There's not really anything I can think of that we could have done differently that would have made an impact. 0.000213% of the dogs we've saved have tested positive for rabies. And the only reason we know this is because we have required testing. State regulators say Jones followed all the rules. There's gotta be something in place where this doesn't happen. Nick Fisher is in charge of enforcing Colorado's Pet Animal Care and Facilities Act, or PACFA. Last year, he began requiring disease control and treatment plans from all rescues and shelters. Moms and mutts complied, but Fisher says many facilities have not. We've given people the opportunity to self regulate and it's not working. He's proposing new rules requiring dogs, cats and ferrets be vaccinated for rabies and other diseases before entering the state and to be quarantined for two weeks before they're put up for adoption in places like large pet stores. How many people would you expose? How scary is that? Jones says she already quarantined shelter dogs before importing them, but vaccinating them, she says, would lead to unintended consequences. She imports most puppies at eight weeks old. They need to be 12 weeks for vaccinations. People are going to take it into their own hands. Um, they are going to go to Texas and get their own puppies without any regulations. They are going to, backyard breeders are going to go wild. I mean, it's a public safety issue to us. To Drew and Christine Frank, it's about time. Looking back, it was, that's crazy. It's just, it's hard to believe. Fisher says he receives complaints every week about sick dogs that were adopted from rescues. He worries there are rabies cases that go unreported because most rescues euthanize dogs for diseases that mimic rabies but don't test them like moms and mutts does. Jones says she also requires people wear disposable gowns and gloves at adoption events, which may have prevented the spread of rabies to people. Again, regulators say she did everything by the book. Fisher says anyone looking to adopt should do their homework. Some rescues have dozens of violations. Problem is, those violations aren't posted publicly. Mm. Fisher says he's working on that. Yeah, I imagine there will be more work to do, Sean. Yeah. Thank you.